Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. We start with this report claiming that Barca director Deco is coy on possible permanent signings of Joao Felix and Joao Cancelo. We are going to discuss more on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this transfer report claiming that Barcelona are ready to prioritize 28-year-old Bayern Munich midfielder Joshua Kimmich signing in the summer. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. When Barcelona signed Joao Cancelo and Joao Felix, on the summer transfer deadline day on loan from Manchester City and Atletico Madrid respectively, it was seen as a coup and the way the two Portuguese internationals started off in the Barcelona colours meant that there was already talk about Barca making their transfers permanent at the end of the season. Barcelona's new sporting director Deco also insisted in an interview in the past that the club would want to keep both Cancelo and Felix around beyond the ongoing campaign. He said, There is no doubt that we want to have them next season because they are valid in for the squad, he said, two weeks ago. Now, though, speaking in an interview with Portuguese publication Ebola, Deco has uh, stated that this is not a time to discuss the possible permanent transfers of uh, Joao Felix and Joao Cancelo and it is too early to make a decision, he said. We are very happy with the performance of both of them. They bring a lot of quality to the squad. Now it's too early to talk about uh, their situations and we are we will have time to make decisions, Deco said about his compatriots. Having previously spoken about Wanting to keep the jewels around beyond next season, Deco has now become coy on the subject, as he further said. Now is the time for the players to focus on the club's objectives and try to win as much as possible in all competitions. Anything else to talk about at this moment is speculation. One of the reasons behind Deco's coy response could be the fact that Barcelona might be unable to sign both Cancelo and Felix on permanent transfers. If reports are true, it would take a, at least uh, 100 million euros for the La Liga champions to bring both players in permanently, something that it is out of the equation due to their finances. Loan extensions could again be explored, but Manchester City and Atletico might look to get rid of Cancelo and Felix on a permanent basis, making things even more trickier. During the interview, Deco also discussed Barcelona's upcoming UEFA Champions League game against FC Porto. The Catalans take on the Portuguese Giants knowing that a win would make them go through the round of 16, he said. It was difficult for us to win at the, the Old Drago. Porto are a good team who don't drop off in away atmospheres it's going to be a difficult game and hopefully we can win it i would honestly like both teams to qualify deco acknowledge of course he's a portuguese so of course it doesn't surprise me when he says he wants Porto to qualify alongside us uh talking about the the two draws draw cancelo and draw felix I don't know what has happened because they have not been at the level that they used to be or when they joined Barca the first few weeks Things have dropped off, and um, not just them, but among I think it's a whole team problem. So that's why I don't I don't I'm still convinced that even if Barca signed them permanently, it would be a good move, because generally the whole team is not doing well. It's not like we don't have good players, but it's a it's a matter of a whole team spirit, because if Barca come back to their best form, everybody will do well, and we'll see the best of both Cancelo and Felix once again, you know. So I don't know what Javi is trying to play or to do that the whole team now is not doing or playing something identical. So we can hear the sporting director Deco being coy about the possibilities of bringing both Joao Cancelo and Felix on permanent basis. 
and reports are saying that it can cost Barca up to 100 million euros in order to bring those two players on a permanent basis. And we all know that realistically, that can work out. Barca can shell out 100 million euros on two players. It can't because the money is not even there in the first place. And even if the money was there, you start hearing about financial fair play issues or La Liga's limitations. And there are many things that Barca have to sacrifice in order to, you know, to make it work. So it just, it just, everything just looks so complicated now. Everything looks blocked. Like it's as if Barca can't go and sign quality players, even if they have the money, because La Liga has its own kind of tight rules. And of course, regulations that Barca will face so difficult to, to bypass. So let's see. If actually they will extend their loan deals, if Barca can sign, but if both City and Atletico are insisting on you know selling those two players permanently, then that's where it was. It's going to be a big problem for us. Then on to the final story of discussion. Barcelona's biggest worry heading into the 2023-24 season was reinforcing the team in crucial areas, especially after the departure of several players. This list included Ansu Fati, Ace Abde, Eric Garcia, Clen Led, Usman Dembele, Frank Kissier, Jody Yaba, and most importantly, Sergio Busquets. The Barca captain had been an undisputed starter at Camp Nou for nearly a decade and a half, and his departure left a gaping hole in midfield due to a lack of natural pivot to replace him. However, due to the financial crisis at the club, Barca could not afford to buy a big name replacement. Xavi personally wanted Real Sociedad to Martin Zubimendi, but his 60 million euros release clause means that Barca had to go looking elsewhere. Eventually, they ended up getting Oriol Romeo for, from Girona for 3.5 million euros. The Spaniard did play pretty well during the opening games of the season, but his performances have only taken a steep decline since then. Further, Barca never considered Romeo as anything more than a stopgap with the focus on bringing in a long-term solution in the summer. One of the names on the radar is Joshua Kimmich. The Bayern Munich midfielder's contract expires in the summer of 2025 with contract extension talks stalled. Barcelona want to prioritize his signing in the coming summer window as per report by AS. However, the player must show his intention to sign for Barca and agree personal terms with them. The Catalans know that if he leans towards the extension negotiations with Bayern, his signing will become very costly. Barcelona do have a couple of things going in their favor as part of this deal though. Firstly, Kimmich does not seem interested in renewing his contract with Bayern. He is not particularly happy with this his role under Thomas Tuchel. And the two are not even in good terms now, being played as a number six. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.